everyone and welcome to Big Data Download, where we make sense of big data and put it to work for your business and your investments. I'm Kayla Tausche, in for Courtney Reagan. Today we have our eye on healthcare. The industry has been a lightning rod for criticism, with estimates of nearly $1 trillion wasted annually. But today we look at how big data is being put to work to help cut waste and eliminate unnecessary spending in that critical sector. Let's get straight to the story. Joining us is Aaron Task, Editor-in-Chief at Yahoo Finance. Also with us to talk about big data's role in the healthcare industry is Phil Simon, author of Too Big to Ignore. Gentlemen, thank you both for being with us. Aaron, let's start with you. You're tracking some very specific search data on healthcare from the consumer standpoint. What are you seeing and what's that data telling you right now? Uh, yes, Gail. So for the 30 days ended April 5th, searches for the Obama health care bill were up 280 percent from the prior year. Obviously, there's still a lot of interest and confusion really about the Obama health care bill, what it means when certain parts of it go into effect. There was also a 351% increase for the term health equity, which is not about healthcare stocks. It's about a search for things having to do with the fairness of healthcare, accessibility of healthcare, who has healthcare, and who doesn't. Those numbers don't seem to lie, Aaron. Phil, though, set the stage for us. What are some of the biggest challenges right now facing the healthcare industry? Well, I'd say, Kayla, there are two fundamental problems with healthcare. And just to put this into context, healthcare is one of the single biggest sectors in the U.S. economy. Roughly $3 trillion of our 17 trillion GDP go to healthcare, so about one in six dollars. Also, that number is increasing at six to seven percent per year. So first up, there's a tremendous amount of waste with regard to health care. A PWC study from around 2008 estimates the amount of waste per year at $1.2 trillion. So there's a big opportunity there with big data. There's also a great deal of fraud. With Medicare alone, we're talking about anywhere from 60 to $250 billion per year in fraud. Obviously, a lot of opportunity in some of those areas. But you have an example of a specific case study in which big data was put to work, and it produced some pretty tangible results. Can you tell us about that? Sure, I, I learned a lot about big data and healthcare researching the book. And a couple of years ago, Cornerstone Health in North Carolina, which represents around 350 medical practitioners, realized something. They weren't terribly good at finding the patients who had different diseases. So for instance, with diabetes, they realized that 20% of the people who had the disease weren't diagnosed. So they were able to proactively contact the specific patients, 90% of whom actually kept their appointments, resulting in over $200,000 in addition revenue. So big data is a big opportunity for healthcare. And obviously a, a big revenue saver there in that specific instance. What are the conclusions, though, that you can draw based on that case study for the broader healthcare sector? Well, think about what one 350-person organization can do with diabetes and multiply that by about a billion. And we're talking about the scope of the opportunity here. Big data will bring about greater transparency. Not only, Kayla, will we do a better job in describing our current population, we'll actually be able to predict with things like personalized medicine who should get what type of pill when. So the opportunities are limitless. And hopefully we will be able to capitalize on those opportunities. Phil, thank you. Aaron, thank you. For Big Data Download, I'm Kayla Tausche. Have a great day.